Hello, hope you are doing good. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Brevo. Brevo is an email marketing platform that is very good for beginners as it makes it easy to create, track, and send email campaigns. All you'll need to do is go onto Brevo.com. Once on Brevo.com, you're going to go over to the top right hand corner, right where you see my account dashboard you would see the option to sign up. All you'll need to do is click on that and from there you'll be able to create an account on Brevo and we'll be able to get started. Or you can tap on sign up for free right here and you'll be able to get started and you can see that the platform that helps you build customer relationships across email, SMS and chat. So all you have to do once you have signed up to Brevo You'll be redirected to this page and from here all you'll need to do is scroll down then you are going to tap on continue with free plan. After you have tapped on continue with free plan you'll be redirected to your dashboard and from here I'm going to be showing you the steps on how to use Brevo or how to maximize Brevo. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you to do is add contacts. And to add contacts, all you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap where you see contacts. After you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you have two options. You can either import contacts. So if you already have an email list, you can tap on import contacts. And then from there, you will be able to add your email list. So you can either choose to upload a file or you can choose to copy and paste your contacts right there. If you don't have an email list, all you'll need to do is tap on create a contact in the top right hand corner. Then from there, you'll add the person's email address, last name, first name. And also if you have their phone number, you would add it right there. Then tap on create. And that's how to create a contact or add contact list on Brevo. And you can see load a list or a segment right here. You could tap right there after you have added numerous lists. The next thing I'm going to be showing you to do right where you see forms. I want you to tap right there. After you have done that, you can see the option to create a new subscription form. So you can do this also with Bravo. All you have to do is tap on create a new form. Then from there, you could add the form name right here. So let's say, for example, I want to name this form test. Then I'll tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you will be redirected to this page on which you'll be able to edit how your form looks. So all you have to do is scroll down and you can see how the basic form looks right here. If you would like to change anything about it, you can see the different editing options on the left hand menu corner. So for example, if you would like to add a title, you can do that. If you would like to add additional fields, you can also do that as you can see right here. So let's say for example, I want to add this. All I would have to do is tap and drag. So let me do that real quick. So I could tap and drag and place it right here as you can see. And if you would like to add anything else, you can also do that. And if you would like to remove anything, all you have to do is tap on the section. And from there, you can edit the text. Or if I would like to change the background color, I could tap right where you see background color. Then from there, I could choose the color that I would like to use. So let's say I want to use this color. I could simply tap on that color. And also, if you would like to change the button style, you can also do that. And if you would like to add a background image, right where you see choose an image, all you'll have to do is tap on that and you'll be able to choose an image. And again, all you'll have to do is go back up to the top, tap on build. And then from there, you will see the numerous editing options or you can tap on form design and from there you can edit the information that has already been added to your form. Once you're finished, you are going to tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you will be redirected to this dashboard. 
and from here you can see we strongly recommend that you use the catchy confirmation to prevent spam bots so you can do that if you want and then you're going to scroll down and from here you could add the list that you would like to send it to and after doing that you're going to tap on next and then from there you'll be able to customize the settings as you can see right there now that I've shown you how to do that the next thing I'm going to be showing you how to do is create campaigns so we are going to go over to the left hand menu options and you are going to tap on campaigns after tapping on campaigns what I want you to do next is tap on create campaign in the top right hand corner after you have tapped on create campaign you can see that you have five options you can either choose to create an email campaign sms campaign whatsapp web push or facebook ads so you can see that you have you are given five options so let's say for example we'd like to create an email campaign all you'll have to do is tap on email after you have tapped on email you will add your campaign name then tap on create campaign after you have tapped on create campaign you will be redirected to this page and from here you will be able to edit how your email looks by simply scrolling down you can add who you'd like to send your email to so you can add your email list right there then you can also add the subject after doing that you will tap right where you see start designing and once you have tapped on start designing from here you can scroll down and you can choose from any one of these templates as you can see there are numerous ready-made templates that you can choose from all you would have to do is tap on template gallery after tapping on template gallery from there you could scroll down and you could choose one of these templates or you could select layouts and after selecting layouts you can select any one of these templates also all you have to do is tap on use template once you have tapped on use template you will be redirected to a new page on which you'll be able to edit your template after you have finished editing the template all you would need to do now is tap on save and quit in the top right hand corner and you can see all of the editing tools on the top left hand corner right here so all you have to do is simply drag and drop any one of these editing boxes to any section of your template so you can edit it to anywhere so you can edit it to your liking once you have finished you'll tap on save and quit and then from there you could tap on schedule to decide when you would like to send out your email template and also to check out the statistics you can tap on statistics in the left hand menu option then from there you will be able to see how your campaigns are performing and you can also check the conversions by tapping on conversions right there and you can also track it per day as you can see the calendar icon right there you can tap on the calendar to track your day another thing that you can also do with Brevo is by going over to the left hand menu option what I want you to do is tap right where you see automations and by tapping on automations you'll be redirected to this page on which you'll be able to set up your automations as you can see right here just give it a few seconds to load up and by the way with Brevo you'll also be able to add more apps if you want so it makes it easy to integrate numerous apps on your platform so Brevo is definitely beginner friendly and I would definitely recommend that you give it a try if you are thinking about doing email marketing this is a good beginner friendly platform I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe